this is this was based upon configuration eight of the previous video which showed a grouping of these like three or four maybe five of them when it hit the stators went flying through and by the way if you're new to my channel welcome glad to have you here um so uh, to most saying why don't you just put the magnets all the way around many people have asked me this before but this is a little different configuration so i want to show you what's going on here for any of you people out there who are obsessed with trying to figure this stuff out okay so first of all i want to show you the wheels balance by the way i tightened everything up so it's it's rock solid now it doesn't move um so let me do this let me just show you how free spinning this is now, despite I didn't push it very much, that's going to spin for a while. I'm not going to wait here all this time until it stops. But as you can see, it uh, moves beautifully. Next best thing is friction free. As you can see, it's slowing down slowly but surely. Okay, but I just want to show you, it, it, it moves very freely. Okay, it's going around just fine. So, this stop this, okay. I'm gonna bring this back in here, swing it over top. This is a stator magnet, okay. See, it's already starting to take off. I'm gonna show you what's going on here. Now, what I have here is I have a gap, okay. I don't know how many inches that looks like, five inch gap. God, there's my wooden ruler when I need it. I want to use a metal ruler. I don't see it anywhere. Okay, anyway, so. Uh, now, what I want to show you here is that it continues to accelerate around the track. I think just call this a magnetic track, if you will. And, and rather than this move and being on top of the track, the track itself moves. So, now watch what happens here when I do this. I'm going to, I guess I have to get down here a little lower so you can see it. Okay, I can feel it trying to pull in right about there. Somewhere right about there is trying to pull in. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, see it wants to go ahead and go. But when it gets to the gap, it wants to stop. Okay. Now if I give it a little bit more momentum, just a little bit much, not much, just a little bit more, it'll jump the gap. See now it wants to run. It will not keep running. Okay, this will be the last time it will make it around. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what happens when I close the gap. So, I swing this away, and I can't do this with a, a phone in my hand. So, I'm going to stop the video, and then I'll splice the. When you see it come back, this will be filled in. Okay. Now the gap's filled in. This is where this white paper was. So it's completely filled in all the way around, as you can see. Okay. Now I want to just tell you up front. I'm not sure which one it is, but I believe it's this one or this one. It could be this one, but some one of these four magnets right in here. There's something different about one of these. I'm not sure what it is, but when one gets to one of these here there is a spot where the magnet is fighting the rotation. I don't know why. I haven't figured that out. I'll probably have to take out some magnets. But this is this is my entire collection. I don't think I have maybe, but uh, I might have one, maybe two more. Um, anyway, so watch what happens here. Now let's swing this around. Okay. It's taking off all on its own. I'm going to give it a little help here. Get it going. Okay, it's going to slow down, but it gets to a certain speed of slowness and it wants to just keep right on going. But it finds that weird magnet in there. There's not something's not right. There it is, right there. Otherwise, it goes around, does fine until it gets to the white piece of paper and there's something wrong like right there. And then it goes back to running again just fine. 
Come on, don't let me down now. It's been working in my little test before I started rolling this video. See? There's something going on right in here, and I'm not sure what it is. There's something... Uh, it's not a sticky spot because all these are equal. Um, maybe that gap there needs to be closed a little bit. Maybe it's just a gap in issue between magnets. Okay. Now let's try it again and see what happens. Now this will be a teller when it comes around to the paper this time. Yeah, something's going on in there. I think it looks like it might be a, ga a, 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 ga a gap issue with the magnets. Yeah. Yeah, there's something going on right in here that's just bringing the wheel to a stop. I don't know what it is, but other than that, when it's not dealing with whatever it's dealing with in here, it goes. It gets real slow, but it keeps going. It doesn't want to stop. Watch, do it slowly. It just wants to go until it gets to that spot on the wheel. Uh, it, well, see, I don't know what's going on there. I have. I, it's gonna have to investigate what's going on here. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Let me shut the video off again and see if I can figure out what's going on here. Because other than this spot here, it it it, ru it runs, but it bumps into something here. I'm not sure what's going on. So let me cut the footage and see what I can figure out. Okay. It, it apparently is a magnet issue. What I did is I took the magnet in question, just so if I knew if I was achieving anything, I simply moved the magnet from here over to here, where it now seems to be getting stuck again just a little bit right here with this. Um, so let me just show you again. So I'm out of magnets. I don't have any more of these. The only two left I have have holes in the middle. They're not the same strength. So, and you need even strength. So I guess at some point, uh, since I believe I should can jump the jump to, to the finances on this, I'll have to rebuy all of this. So it'll all equal same strength. And today, these are not cheap anymore. And I don't want to outlive my money. I mean, yeah, yeah, I got that right. <laughs> I don't want to outlive my money. So I have to watch what I spend here. That's why I'm trying to get this channel monetized. Okay, so watch what happens here. I gotta hold this armature because it shakes. See, it wants to run. That's not a question here anymore. It's just when it gets to that spot. It's right there, there's that spot again. This is where I moved the magnet. So, uh, okay, let me put one of the magnets there that has the hole in it. Let's see what happens. Okay, I believe I truly have figured out what's going on here. It's uh, three different elements, and the first one is the spacing. The magnets, where they're tighter together, it works way better. Not a little bit, but a lot better. If I give them all a nice tight spacing, I don't have enough magnets to go all the way around. I just don't. This is this is my entire collection. I have two more with holes in the middle. Um, but if I make these the proper um, space all the way around, I probably probably will need four or five more of these magnets. Uh, the second thing I've, I've come to see is that they're not all full strength. They're all not the same strength. This one here seems to be the weak guy, so I put this paper here. Um, let me zoom in here. Yeah, that's not want to zoom. Here we go. Okay, so where you see this X here, this space in here is where eh, there's something not right. And so what it wants to do, it wants to slow down. This is acting as a break. Basically right here is some kind of braking action here. But it's not doing that anywhere else. Although there is a little space on here where it's not gapped properly. I think it's right about here. Where the magnets are getting a little bit far apart, especially, especially right here and right here. Um, you'll see it slows down a little bit. So these need to be really tight. Okay. And then, of course, this doesn't seem to, this magnet here doesn't seem to be full strength. It seems to be weaker than all of these others. So when I run underneath the, the stator, I can pull it back and forth. 
I can feel the uh, attraction mode is weaker here and these are stronger. So that's the problem here. It could be something else going on here, but I don't know what's going on here. So let me show you here what's happening here. Let me back off the lens. Come on, why is this so complicated? There we go. Okay, so let's bring this back up here. And this time you'll see it actually wants to run. Now let me, this goes this bad spot. I won't just call it a sticky spot for right now. Um, but that's not really what it is. It's just a weak magnet. But let me get a little nudge past that weak spot and watch it. Just picks right up. See? It's even, oh, wow. Ooh, that's sweet. I haven't seen it do that before. Okay, it'll get around to that, and it probably won't go past it. Nope. See, it won't go past that. There's something going on right there. If I give it a little bit more speed, it will, but it will lose that speed. Because every time it comes around to that white piece of paper, it loses a little bit of speed. So I'm going to have to see. Look at that. Look, it's picking up speed nicely. So in my opinion, other than this glitch here, this is working just fine. It wants to keep going around and around and around. Now, that, see where it slowed down and picked up speed? That is a spacing issue. That's where the magnets were not spaced tightly together. And there's that same piece of paper spot right there. Okay? So it's very apparent that this actually is trying to run, but there's a glitch. I need to fix the glitch, and then it should smooth out, and it should run just fine. So it's trying to go back again. So it's still trying to run. I haven't touched it. Okay? And there's nothing underneath the table. I mean, this here is not that serious of an experiment, so I would need to cheat at this level. But anyway, I don't cheat regardless. Okay, after I said I was going to stop filming, I continued to fiddle. I fixed the problem. Um, and I learned something in the process. Uh, let me show you. First of all, it will get past that piece of paper now with no problem. So let me just give it a little nudge and show you what's going on. See, it goes past it now. But I've run into a new problem that has not exposed itself because I, I actually found one loose magnet over here. And then I found... Uh, I found one more too, and I managed to squeeze two more in. Okay, so in the process to get that to put one in here, I had to push a lot of these around in both directions. And then I went to another spot and put another magnet here, actually. And I had to move these down and then to be able to squeeze this one in here. So in the process, these are not all exactly the same spacing anymore. Now, what I've learned from this lesson is that even though this is level, watch, I'll, I'll move this away. You'll see that this doesn't have any place it favors. It just, it'll eventually in a moment come to a stop. It's not going to reverse direction like it would if it was on level. See, that's how well this works. It will stop. Okay. And you can see it's not moving backwards. Okay, so what's going on here is I've got things perfectly level, okay? And we swing this guy around here. And then it wants to start. Now, it's kind of like a car engine. You have to give it a little nudge. You have to start it. So we push it this way. Yeah, it's right this way. Okay? This is the spot right here. Okay. What I learned here... Is that when you have an area of magnets that are more compressed versus less compressed over here, the armature magnet here, stator magnet, wants to favor an area. So that becomes, uh, it slows down the wheel. It creates unnecessary drag, if you will. So it turns out, Every one of these are going to have to be precise. I have to have these on the money, right on, right spot on. So, but that's what I'm seeing now. Now that I screwed up the, the space in here. Let me just show you now what's going on. We don't have a sticky spot anymore. We just have an area here where the magnets are not properly spaced is the problem. Gentle push. And I want to call quits for this here. 
So he went past the sticky spot, no problem. Well, I call it a sticky spot. It's not what it was. Still trying to slow down that spot a little bit, isn't it? Let's see what happens when he gets to that spot again. It goes right on through. Right in this area here, see? It's right in here somewhere is where I have a grouping of magnets that are not spaced properly. And so it favors a region on this wheel where they're spaced tighter together, which makes more sense. That's the area right in there. It'll rock back and forth until it shows us where the center spot is. But right in there is where the magnets are extra tight. They are, they're really tight in there, as you can tell. So I have to get them all equal all the way around so there's no favoritism. So the pull or attraction is equal all the way around. Once I get that equal, this should run just fine. All right, now that's it for the update. Thank you guys, take care.